Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Amory, and today we're going to do a full face of first impressions, some of the products that I purchased recently as well as hauled recently. So if you're interested in here for this type of video, then just keep watching. So before we go any further, I would love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't miss out on my channel. So like I said, we're going to be doing a first impressions on whew, some new drugstore makeup that I just hauled not too long ago. You guys, I got even more products to haul with you guys. So there's going to be many videos coming your way very soon. As you can tell, we already did the eyebrows and I think today I want to start off with the eyes just because I want to pull in the LA Girl Fierce and Wild Palette. I hauled this a few weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, and I asked if you guys would like to see a video of me using these colors and most people said yes. And I know this is not like the newest because if I'm not mistaken, LA Girl dropped, I want to say maybe two more of these palettes just recently. But this is the newest one I have. So I decided I wanted to test this one out with you guys and see how it goes. I am pulling the packaging off, but I don't like the fact that the names is on here and not on the actual palette. So it does come with a big mirror though, you guys. A big, nice mirror and I do like that. So I am going to dip off into that, but before we start on the eyes, I do want to use my Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. I hauled this not too long ago and I wanted to use this before I put on my primer and I want this to soak up into the skin. So I am going to use just a little bit just to moisturize my face and let it soak in for a minute. She feels really nice. She almost reminds me of the Neutrogena Hydro Gel. It's a nice little gel. She's thick but gel based. Sorry, I had to turn the exposure down some. She was looking a little... Okay, sorry you guys, I turned the exposure down some. She was looking a little bit too bright as I was looking into the monitor. But like I was saying about this, I kind of like this. It's a thick water gel base. And to me, she's feeling really good. She's not sticky or anything. She's just a gel moisturizer. So we're going to move on into the eyes and I am going to go into one of my Project Pan items and use a little bit of this which is the NYX eyeshadow base and it's the white base. You guys should know all about that. And the plans are to only use this one palette for the whole eye look. So let's hope we can get that done. So I am gonna take my Morphe 505, the M505 brush, and I'm gonna dip off into this shade Dusk, which is this peachy orange right here. I probably should've gave you guys swatches, huh? We're just gonna place her right above the crease as a transition shade. And you guys know that I love patting color in before actually blending. And it's taking just a little bit to build up, but not too bad of a feeling. Like, not too bad. I dipped, what, three times so far? And she's showing up, but she's not showing up like too bright yet. But I can tell she can use a build up to get that perfect shade that you may be looking for. I'm gonna take Buff, which is the cream shade right here. I'm gonna take her and pop her with the same M505 brush and pop her right here in the brow bone just to blend out the harsh lines. You don't need too much of this. She's pretty well 
pigmented. And I kind of want to go in with Raven, which is this charcoal black color right here, to just place on the outer corner. But I don't want to place too much. She's not really black. I'm glad I said charcoal black because she's not really black. And she's a tad bit patchy. She's not blending well into dust. She's a sheer black. I'm gonna dip into Impulse, which is this chocolate brown right here. I don't want to blind you guys. This charcoal brown, just to see if we can deepen this up a little bit. I think I'm gonna take Aurora right here, and this one here is Fierce. I'm gonna mix the two on my finger and see how that blends together on my lid. Okay, she places on real nice. not so bad I don't think I will use the Ravens color no more because she's just like a smoky gray she's not actually a black so I don't think I would use that anymore but this fierce color is like really chalky it looks like you can't pick up anything but actually when you put it on the brush and actually blend. She actually comes out pretty well. I think this could be better, but I'm not mad at it for first impressions. And I wasn't gonna use a liquid liner, which is really weird to me, but I'm just gonna stick with what I said and not use a liquid liner. But I am gonna go off camera and do this eye really quick, and then I'll be back. So here's what we're looking like with the eyes completely finished somewhat. And I don't know, it's not the greatest palette, but it's not the worst palette that I've played around with. So we're not completely done yet. Let's go ahead and finish the full face, and then we'll discuss it. Uh, I don't know. So we're gonna move on into the Neutrogena's Matte Primer Plus Serum. It's the Shine Control with Rice Protein in it. And you guys, I did just recently haul this and I should have pulled out my Neutrogena's. I should have pulled out my Neutrogena's um, foundation to go along with this, but I didn't. But we're gonna give this a shot anyway. We're gonna give it a couple of squirts. I like that it has the dropper in it. And this is a primer. Ooh, she kind of gives a grip. Okay, she's water-based, but she gives a grip, and she's a tad bit sticky to the face. Yeah, she got some stick to her. I wouldn't take this as a serum, but as a good matte primer, I think maybe she will be good. The claims, it says it can be used to bridge the gap from skincare to makeup, wear before makeup application to prep skin or alone as a mattifying serum. So you guys know that I did haul the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup and I did get the shade Deep Warm, which is W9.5. And I told you guys, I wanted to test this out to see if this would be a good match for me as well as the neutral cappuccino that I normally get. I did pick up cappuccino, but I wanted to test out this one to see if she's a better match for me. Neutral, 
the neutral shake that I got is like a dead on match, but you know how you age and your skin tone changes. So I just wanted to test out a new shade and see. So I am gonna use my beauty blender just to blend out and see. And sorry if you guys can hear the animals in the background barking, that is outside dogs, not my dog. Hmm. Let me see, is that better? I think that's better. I feel like my exposure was a little bit too bright at first and then now to me it was a little too dark. And I kind of think this is better. She is a doable shade for me. You see this side, this is with foundation and then no foundation. I think she pulls a little bit more of my reddish undertone in. Yeah, I think she could work for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just shake it up and dab all over. So we're gonna move on into the Neutrogena Radiant Cream and Concealer. It's a healthy skin. I do have the shade Golden Medium Deep. And I will have the claims right here because I still never looked into it to see like what are the actual claims of it. I just seen that it was a new concealer and I wanted to try it out. We're gonna try. Oh, she may be too golden for me. Oh. Yeah, she may be too golden. But I will say medium is correct. She doesn't come off like popping full coverage. But too golden, yes. I would say. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, this may be way too golden for me. And then the shade that I found that was right above it seemed to be too light so oh yeah i don't know this may be too much but this is how first impressions go i don't maybe, know you guys maybe. okay maybe she's not so maybe we could do something with it. because she's such a lightweight she really doesn't bright and become too golden she kind of fades out a little bit so maybe we can work with her i wouldn't say that i wouldn't wear her on a daily basis i'm not for sure about this color the color ends up not being so bad but she can be intimidating at first maybe the powder that i'm gonna use it's gonna be too much, but I wanna see if she could build up. I wanna see. Oh. Okay. If this first impression turns into shits, it's okay. Not going nowhere, but this is what first impressions is all about. We have to see if we end up looking good or looking like a fool. And this won't be my first failure of a first impression, okay? She gave a little bit more coverage, but now she's becoming more orangey gold, goldish, like almost too much. It's like pulling away from the golden and going orange. Okay, so we're gonna move on, we're gonna keep pushing. I am gonna dip off into the Revolution. I am gonna move on into the Revolution's Deep Honey Loose Setting Powder. And this one says it's talic free and no flashback and it's water resistant. But because it's deep honey, it seems to, it may pull off even more orangey. So I'm gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna take the same damn beauty blender. She's looking like this. Y'all getting sneak peeks if you're paying attention. So, we're gonna see, ooh, okay. It's not as dark as I thought. And this does come with a little mirror on it. So let's see. I'm hoping it's not drying. 
she melted into the skin really good and just to update fyi the eyeshadow is looking like it's starting to crease and i don't know if it's from the eyeshadow or the NYX white base that is just a little update i am seeing it creasing this almost looked like it got some type of illuminator in it It almost reminds me of one of my other setting powders. Oh, my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. Like, she sets pretty good, but she almost still have a tacky feel to her. She didn't make the concealer look even more orangier. She's actually coming out pretty good to say this concealer was really orange. It's not really brightening me up but she's setting me down pretty good but I feel like it's a little bit of illuminator in here I see it on my cheeks I can always tell a setting powder if it's good or bad once it hits my under eye and this one is not pulling texture but it is pulling like a little bit of luminosity a luminosity Ugh, I couldn't even get it out it's just a little bit of luminy, like a little bit glowy right here. And I'm not for really sure if you guys can see that on camera, but it has a pearly look to it. I'm not gonna lie. Setting powder for all over the face. We're gonna go into my Ruby, not my Ruby Kisses, y'all. My Black Radiance True Complexion. This one is in Milk Chocolate. She is on the darker side. But I'm just going to take her, I'm going to take a big brush. This is from Best Top and this brush is from Amazon. I will have this brush, this brush set linked down below in my Amazon storefront. It's a really good brush. I'm going to take her, swirl around and just kind of buff it in. So that it won't be so pigmented but this one is a little bit darker than what i normally go with i normally go with um creamy bronze but i've been trying to use this one a little bit because she still does match my face just a little bit deeper we're gonna move on into the new patricia brights and makeup revolution and this is the face palette in You Are Gold. Oh, you guys, I hauled this. You guys should have seen that video. If y'all haven't, I will have it linked in the eye and down below. But here is the contour, blush, and highlighter that I'm gonna use for today. I am gonna start off with this contour and I'm gonna use the same brush. And we're gonna, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm hoping she's not too dark. She's dark. Wow, can you see? Oh, goodness. You really don't have to dig deep into this one. She gives off color. I can honestly say she's almost like for a full beat, like a beat beat face because she's giving all pigmentation to her, like goodness. Gonna take another best top brush and dip into the blush. Dip into the blush and pop her on. Jeez. Y'all have to go light hand with this look. Oh my goodness, this is, she's pigmented and very pretty. She's not patchy or anything like, what the world? We're gonna spray our face with Shama, not Shama Stash, Project Pan Cover Girl Lockup. best drugstore setting spray sets out there. I think I raved about that for a long time now. 
and I'm only using it up because I had it for some time, but I will pick that up anytime. This is one of the good setting sprays. It actually locks everything in and keep it right there in place. Like it is so freaking good. So before it dries all the way down, we are going to go into this highlighter. And I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild highlighter brush and we're going to dip into this highlighter. Light champagne. Okay. She's giving glow. Okay. All right. I think this is something I can use at all times. I like this trio. I like all this together. Not one is too light, not one is too dark. This is a good combination of a black girl palette to have. Like, if you pick your right shade, which this one is the second to deepest, and I feel like this works for my skin tone really well, and every single shade, as you could tell, works for me. I like this palette. You guys are gonna be seeing this a whole lot. Out of everything, this is one of the ones I actually like like the most. Between the palette and the foundation, I'm really, really liking it the most out of the new products that we're trying. And I think I still have a coupon code with her. If it's still active, it is still down below. I always keep my coupon codes, my Amazon storefront, my affiliate codes. I always keep all that down below in the hot box. It's at the very end of everything in the hot box. So go check out Elegantly Boutique. Elegant, Elegacy, Jesus. Elegacy Boutique and check out her lashes. Even if I my coupon code is not active, you guys should check out her lashes anyway. But before I put on the lashes, I am gonna go in with this L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. You guys, I told y'all in my video that the commercial just sold me on this. So I'm just like, so desperate to work with this mascara and love it. And I hope it makes my real eyelashes look like Bambi Eye. It wouldn't be a A. Marie first impressions if I didn't mess it up. I am gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes real quick and we'll come back and do the bottom lashes as well as the lips. I think that's all we have left. This is almost like an everyday look for me. Y'all know I don't too much go nowhere with a simple look unless it is literally a no eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna go in with the baby mascara. So let's just move on to the lips and be done with this video already. I am gonna go in with my Night Moth liquid, uh, my Night Moth lip liner from MAC. Then I'm gonna top Night Moth off with my NYX Butter Gloss and Cinnamon Roll. I don't want a lip Stick, but I do want a lip gloss, so I'm gonna go in with cinnamon roll and make it like a vampy ish look. I know we're in springtime, but you guys, I'm feeling this type of lip, okay? This is a wig I got from Amazon a few days ago. I was looking for, what's wrong? I can't really like it on your bed. Why? Because your charger can't go that far. So I got this wig a few days ago from Amazon. I will link it down below in my Amazon storefront. Um, I'm liking this wig. I haven't played around with it too much, but the first initial installment was pretty good and she's really long. 
and I got her like in a messy bun right now just because but like I said I will have her link down below this is the look you guys this is the completed look I kind of like it but I kind of don't like it but she cute enough you know what I mean I really 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 did take a liking to the Patricia Brights and Revolution palette. I really like this. So you guys will be seeing this a whole lot more. Um, my Cinnamon Roll lip gloss and my Night Moth, of course, was pretty good to me. The foundation is a good foundation. I may want to say this is going to be more of my summer-ish shade. But I think I could pull her off at any moment because she does still match my neck and all. You know, that little sideburn, y'all. I missed this sideburn. Ugh. You see how this one's a little bit longer? I messed it up. But I mean, trial and error, boo boo. Trial and error. I think I could still make that foundation work a little bit for myself. Well, I'm not even going to say a little bit because as I look at myself in the viewfinder, well, in the monitor, it still looks good. The concealer, however, if there is a lighter shade, I think I will go back and get the lighter shade. I just may take this back to Walmart and let them know that this just didn't match me because this is really orange and I can still see it on myself that it is like really orange on me and I'm not that type of chick. So I don't know about that. The serum is pretty good, and I'm not gonna call it a serum, I'm gonna call it the matte primer. Um, I like the mascara, the mascara does really good. I'm gonna continue to work with her. Now, however, this palette, this. this palette is a pretty good palette. It's not a poppin' palette, but I do still want to play with it some more and give it a few more runs. I know for a fact the Raven color is not my zhuzh, but I am dying to try this desert color as well as the Sahara. Um, all the rest of the shimmers, the blues and all that, I'm looking forward to trying, but I don't think that for the first couple of eyeshadows I tried was my favorite. No, they weren't. You guys let me know down below in the comments. I really highly suggest that you guys pick up the Patricia Brights palette. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. It is a fail, but it is a first impression. So give this video a thumbs up for me not giving up on it. And let me know if you guys want more drugstore first impressions to go after this and along with this because basically everything i used was drugstore in today's video so there you go be cute on the budget just don't make the mistakes i made okay so until next time you guys in the words of my loyal subscriber keep shining and i will catch y'all in the next one this is